Hey guys, what's up? This is Simon from DevTactic with another video tutorial on how to use AngularJS filters for HTML parsing. So, what we're gonna see in this tutorial is how to show HTML text or links you got from an API like Twitter or Facebook or so to be correctly displayed in your AngularJS app. So I already created a little a little app with the Yeoman tool. You can read more about the Yeoman on my blog. I will recommend it, it's really great. So you can see here's a link. Well, it's no link at all, it's just text. You can't click it. And it looks just like this my HTML tags and it's just displayed here. So that's not what we want it to look like. We want to have it a clickable link and this should open your mail program or whatever. And what we're gonna do is create a AngularJS filter and apply it to our text. So the first thing you need to do is create a filter file and I'm gonna make it with the yeoman that will create the filters past URL JS and now we have our file here so this is the most uh, general or easy way easiest way to use a filter. You have some input and you return whatever and the input. And to use this filter we just created, you can just go where you're using your scope variable and make a pipe path URL and spin the server back up. So here's the result, pass URL filter and the text we gave to it. Okay, so that's the general use of an AngularJS filter. Now we want to, yeah, we want some more functions like we have now. And for this we need to install another Angular dependency called Sanitize. which you should link in your index. I'm not sure. Yeah, okay, the yeoman already did that for me. And obviously you need it to be included into your Angular module at this point, ng sanitize. So now you're ready to use it. So let's go back to our filter. Okay, we don't want this. Okay, so we want to scan the text we give to our filter and search for URLs or email addresses. So I already prepared two regular expressions. I don't want to write them by hand now. So you can see them on my blog. In general, they just look for HTTPS or whatever and some characters and the email for an ad and so on. Whatever, don't, yeah, just look at my blog. Okay, so we have our function here and we check now if the, oh, we can say text, if our text match URLs so there's an URL in it we say text equals text dot replace and we want to replace the string we found with a link to what's inside and obviously it should have the same name 
So that's already the filter for the URL. The second one is if the text.match emails. We want text equals text dot replace emails we found with in RF equals mail to the email we found. And obviously I'm use that and we're fine. So was that problem? No. Oh, okay here. Yeah. Okay. So the last thing to do is we already replaced it, but we must use some uh, escaping and there's another dependency called SCE, Angular String Contextual Escaping. So inject the dependency and we finally return sce dot trust as html our text so in that way we trust our tokens inside our text and yeah say that it, they are safe okay so we're returning already the correct text now now the last thing you need to do is go back to your HTML where you're using your scope variable and do it a little bit different I'm gonna P and this is the function from the angular sanitize so on that way yeah, well, it's a bit of token stuff and whatever. Just use it and you'll see it will work. Okay, so we bring back up our server. Okay, so the second one is already correct. The first one not yet. I'm gonna take a look what's wrong. Alright, seems like I'm a little bit an idiot, so everything inside our filter is fine. The problem was just I did not have HTTP inside my text, so my regex did not work. So you should have a look at what's your URL and what's your regex to make sure everything working. And as you can see, here's the link and here's the mail. Okay, so that's how to pass a URL inside a scope text or whatever you get from wherever, but there's another way to do these kind of things and I would like to present you the alternatives so if you just want to have it like this inside your view you can take another way and where's my main JS yeah here so the first option is to pass the pass URL filter as a dependency here and just call parse URL filter with the text so that will already apply the filter to the text and assign it so ah, okay yes as you can see they are already replaced but obviously we still need this sanitize so you need that ng bind html and now the links are correct so 
that is the first option you can take or another more general option is to just add the filter dependency and at this point call filter and the name of the filter and after that the text so as you can see it it gets an error because that is only the name of it yes okay so that is the second option you can take and yeah it just depends what you like what's your style whatever you want just take what fits your needs so you learned how to apply a filter and parse your HTML to get beautiful links inside your text. And I would be very happy if you join my YouTube channel or follow my blog. And have a nice day. Goodbye.